Hi everybody. Welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Today's video is all going to be about resin bookmarks with flowers in there, which are uh, transferable stickers. It's lemon fresh happy vibes is what I'm going for. I've just sprayed all my molds with alcohol to help the bubbles um, disappear as I put the resin in. I'm applying Casting Craft Yellow and Casting Craft White. And in my yellow, I did add one drop of white to try and make the lemon a little bit more opaque. It's still transparent. You still see a nice little bit of movement with the white and the yellow, but because they are the same product, same brand, the density is more or less the same, so you don't get too many effects. I just wanted to keep it fairly simple. I want the color to be the hero. And I do come in with my stick and give it a little bit of um, stir to create some more organic patterns and I'm happy with the end result and I think the yellow is beautiful to look at I don't know why I'm just feeling the any yellow the positive energy and uh, the happy vibes the two larger ones are being used for a project that's coming up so come back and do watch my back catalog or should I say the next video where you will see what I do with those longer pieces of bookmarks. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you think the video is adding any value, please give me a thumbs up and also share and comments are always welcome. If you are inspired by any of my work, even color choices, I'd love to be able to see what you've created. So please remember there is a uh, Facebook group Sharon in the Vivid Days where you can join and you can get to showcase your art with the rest of the community as well as myself. I do get a lot of value from seeing that and it is a way for me, it encourages me to keep sharing art with you. I am doing lots of voiceovers as I still recover from my operation. It's going well uh, and I will be back to full strength shortly. With the um, the bookmarks i'm just using the standard ones i've got three different sizes with bookmarks you can choose to add them in layers and what i mean by that is apply your first coat but only fill it halfway and then come and add either some things you put in your bookmarks or you could come and dome if you are going to fill your bookmarks to full capacity to start with and you are going to dome them uh, just remember if you spray with alcohol to help remove those bubbles it could cause it to fall over the edge and you could lose control. No problems, you just need to sand it all down and uh, just touch up. For me, um, as I mentioned before, I just wanted to keep it fairly simple, fresh. And uh, I've got these stickers and I wanted to help complement the colour uh, and that feeling of positivity. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are safe and well. I hope that you found time to do some creating yourself and I hope you have a wonderful Easter if you do celebrate. It's quite peaceful in the house at the moment. Normally you get to hear the dogs running around in the background, but they're not. They are quiet. <laughs> they're sleeping next to me. I hope that lasts for the rest of this video, otherwise you'll start to hear them suddenly making a noise. And I'm Sharon. <laughs> I've digressed. Um... There's not much to talk about at this stage, so I will just leave you to just watch and I'll come in and I'll talk very shortly. Uh, when you are running around the edge of any of your molds, if you've got anything sharp in there, it will leave a little mark in your silicone mold and that'll transfer to future projects. So just make sure you don't press down and it's just slightly, um, slightly raised up, which is what I'm doing just gently there. I do like that swirling technique. It uh, just helps move some of the pigment around and gets it to create uh, some nice little effects. Coming in for a close up now. Um, it does look beautiful. It stayed pretty much as you're seeing it here. The white did sink at the bottom, but that's okay. 
I'm showing you the stickers. I think I should have, it's my first time using them. You peel the back away and then they stick to it, but you can still see the outline. So it's my first time using it. Should I have cut right to the edge of them? Because that would have been really, really <laughs> intricate. Anyway, there's a beautiful selection that I got from Amazon and the ones two to the left, I've already um, worked on the composition, chose my flowers in there, stuck down. To save you time, you're just gonna get to see me doing one. I wanted the flowers to um, still show enough of the yellow through to make sure that I'm not covering up more than um, you know a third of the, the piece, but I wanted them to be complementing colors that match the yellow, but also ones I'm happy with. And I quite like the movement that they look like they're coming from one side and, and um, you know, curling up. I really think that the stickers are stunning. Uh, the downside for me or the part that I didn't enjoy was even though when I top coat my resin and add a little bit of sparkle in there and a little bit of green for grass, you still get to see the shine of the stickers. So if you have used these before, and it's my first go using them and I've done something wrong, user error, let me know or give me any tips or advice on that. I am going to be incorporating them in other projects, not necessarily bookmarks, uh, but just future projects. Uh, once I had um, finished with my composition of the stickers, I've got my latex and I'm just um, using my uh, tool to put it on the back. I just want to make sure everywhere is covered. The latex uh, forms a thin barrier of rubber, which you'll see towards the end of the video. Once it's set and cured, it goes like a like a, a like a rubber colour. <laughs> uh, but it does help with any drip offs or resin nipples that you may have. It helps them peel off. Now I've already domed, um, I believe, the two uh, on the right side of the screen, and I'm just going to be doing the one on the left here to show you how I dome it. And when some people have asked what does doming mean, it just means that the resin is going to give that little curve on the edges as opposed to be flat. I use my little uh, skewers here, just trying to work quite delicate. I'd waited until most of the bubbles have kept come away, uh, but I'm just helping it reach the edges of where I want it to do. It'll then self-level and I can add more resin uh, to get that doming effect, but less is more when doing a top coat for your bookmarks. Um, and I originally was going to leave it like this, but you know me, I can't help messing. I mean, I'm sharing with you all what I'm doing, but I'm also experimenting along the way for future projects. And I decided I wanted to just add a tiny little bit of green, not meant to be like realistic grass or anything like that. Um, but just to sort of, I don't know, complement it all together. It's the clover, there you go, it's the resin dye. Just one drop, I sort of blend it into the resin while it's on, um, like directly as it is, just to save some time. <laughs> and also to give a little bit of control uh, again, optional extra. If you don't like the green, you can uh, keep that off. But for me, I just thought it was nice. And because it's transparent, it doesn't devalue uh, the sticker. There's still enough of that yellow popping through. And again, it took me to a meadow. <laughs> In my clear resin where I've domed, I have added some super sparkle work. Uh, white from the color cottage just has that little bit of glitter in there and at the end when i've got it out in the sun which is very rare this in the last week because definitely winter is coming this way uh, so i'm assuming that summer is starting for other people or spring and you get to see the finished piece shortly i'll pull off the latex i added some tassels of colors which i think complement these and uh, a really nice end result but you will see as it goes into the sunlight some of that uh, shimmer from the sticker that's coming through but oh here i'm going just that little bit of latex coming off look how easy that rolls off it's actually quite satisfying as well luckily though well not luckily because i've got my latex there but i didn't get any drip offs it's more there just to safeguard it and there you see that super sparkle white and there's Thor having a little look back trying to get me to throw a ball. But I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.